the only technical analysis video will, you will ever need. <laughs> for me, I tried to look for a very good title to introduce this lesson, but I think this is the best I've come with. This technical analysis video will help you to give you a hands up of what the market will do. This is like a full course. At the end of the day, I am here willing to give you free course. Um, and this is from beginner to advanced. So even if you're advanced, you will still learn something. And you know, everyone has their way of trading. If you're new to this channel, let me introduce myself. My way of trading is patterns. I love patterns so much. So it's either I'm trading double tops, double bottoms, cup and handle, inverted cup and handle, or ranging channel. So that is my take every single day. So the first thing that you want when you're analyzing, the first thing that you want to do and I won't make this video long because I want you to always come back. And once you forget, you come back to this video. I want you to open any time frame. It can be four hour, one hour, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one week, month. Like there is no limitation to the time frame I you, you will open. So the rules are one time frame with only pattern. What I mean is that if I'm on four hour and I have a double top, that double top is not on any other time frame. If I'm on monthly, the double top, it can be on other time frames, but of course monthly has confirmed. If it's on daily, there's no other double top, if like that. So the first rule, one time with only one pattern. And this pattern is either double top, double bottom. So once you get that pattern, that pattern becomes your pattern one. So look for pattern two. Look for P2 and be careful. Look for P2 on lower time frame or other time frame, lower time frame, and be careful. Why are we saying we be careful? Because the pattern two is what is used to misdirect us. Pattern two is always come to misdirect us. So yes, you have a double top on weekly, but go on daily and look for pattern two because you'll still find it. And then look for pattern three. So this rule goes to this analysis. You need three patterns. So we are looking for pattern two and then trade, trade pattern three. Imagine it's that easy. So we are comfortable trading pattern three. Mostly pattern three and pattern one, they speak the same language. So let, let us get into the, to the trade. This is your trade. The market is an uptrend. Buyers are in control. So majority will think this is a retracement. Majority thinks it's a retracement so that the market can go up. And that's why I don't like trading without pattern because I'll have so much speculation. But for me, before I think this is just a retracement, I need to look, why did the market stop? What made this market stop? Is there, is there a resistance? So I find we have a resistance, and this is not just a resistance, but it is a one candle resistance. Guys, let me tell you, if you find a one candle resistance is something good. So I find a one candle resistance like that. I put two lines. So I have these two lines and my one candle resistance has done what? Has activated that double, possible double top. So we are starting there. So when people are thinking, ah, this market is an uptrend, this market is an uptrend, it is going for retracement that it comes up. For me, I'm thinking this market has a pattern. So you see now different mindset when you're coming to analyze. For me, I'm seeing a different pattern I'm, I'm i'm seeing the market might go down so we have possible possible double bottom so this possible double bottom we have our neckline below here this is our neckline this is gonna be our neckline and we measure our half so the, before even you do anything else the first thing that you need you need to analyze is this double top because the first rule the double top should only be on one time frame if it is on multiple time frame that pattern is not strong so the first question we need to ask ourselves 
this double top is it only on one time frame you come in check is it on only one time frame and because now this is weekly we'll go to higher time frame like monthly we don't want to see <clears throat> we don't want to see monthly having the same double top so you go to monthly do you think on the monthly time we have a double top it's not there so this now gives you one step ahead like it pushes you it increases your chance of winning it increases everything so the market has it is not on the monthly so we have that possible double top the question is how do we trade a possible double top we trade a possible double top using wbb strategy so wbb strategy means you wait for red candle you check if it's bearish and gulf if not you do what you put a box so i've put a box and already i've gotten an entry guys are you seeing how is it is so majority will come and try to sell with pattern one that's the first mistake you guys you do. You want to come and sell with pattern one and take profit like that. This pattern is all already, like this is our first pattern to identify. So this becomes our P1. Meaning we need to identify P2 and then all of, uh, uh, and then after P2, we identify P3. So I go to the daily time frame. I go to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I have the one candle ranging. You can see one, two, three, four. So I have a one candle ranging. So I cannot call this like a pattern or maybe on the four hour, it will be ranging like this. So the market is ranging there. It's not a pattern, it's just a speculation. And you see, my question is, why is this market stopping? Why is it stopping and I don't have a support here? And you see, no support. Why is it stopping? Because this market was selling very well, but all of a sudden it is stopped. It has not hit this support, meaning <clears throat> why is it stopping? And that's the question I want to ask myself. So I decide to go to four hour to check what is making that market stop. So I go to four hour, you see the ranging is still on the two time frame. So I don't take ranging pattern that serious because ranging pattern should be only on one time frame for you to trade it. So because it's on four hour, it's on daily, I don't take it serious. <clears throat> so I squeeze my chart like this and guess what I, I see? The reason why this market is ranging because at the left side, there's a support which is not visible on the daily. This is crazy, guys. This part, let's go to the daily time frame. Tell me if you'll see sellers on the daily time frame. Is there anywhere you're seeing sellers? Can you see sellers? They are nowhere. So if you are glued to daily time frame, you might think the market is just misbehaving. But on the four hour, we have a hands up why the market is not breaking through. So on the daily, nothing to tell. On the four hour, there's that support, clear support. And that support, guys, has made a what? Not only it's a support, but it has made a double bottom. Double bottom, guys, that is not available on the daily, and it gives us a pattern what? Pattern two. And I told you pattern one and pattern two, they speak opposite. And that's why people think they have never known how to trade. So let me hide this on the hour. So pattern one is a double top on the weekly that is nowhere. Pattern two, a double bottom on four hour that is nowhere on the daily. This is crazy, guys. So if I go to the daily time frame, do I have a double bottom? No. If I go to weekly time frame, <clears throat> let's go to the weekly time frame. No double bottom. <clears throat> so 
my double bottom is only on four hour, authorizing me to have pattern two. I've told you this day, this this video, it's bright, it's precious, it's gold mine. This one, if you understand what I'm saying. So you have a double bottom that is only available on four hour only. So we measure half and we notice this double bottom does not have RBS. And the fact that is our pattern too, we are not attempting to trade up to the half guys, uh, uh, trading up to the neckline. We'll trade it up to the half and then we look for pattern three because pattern three is overall. So here I have double bottom on four hour only. You see what I'm saying, only. When I say only, I mean, this pattern, you can't find it on another time frame. And that's what makes everything smooth. So you find that this market has activated around double bottom and has broken, given us CRB around this area. So we have CRB here. So our entry was here, but this entry were taken on a drawdown of 127. Because if you enter here, your stop loss will be around this place. And that's why I keep telling people, not of every trade that you will enter, it will be smooth. So if you enter this trade, for sometimes it has been ranging and you don't know why. What you know is that even if half is broken, there is no way you can buy to, TP, to the neckline because this is pattern two. We are looking for pattern three. But pattern two, we can trade it shortly up to the half. So you have entered there, let's see what happens. So the market comes, tempts to break. So don't mind the stop loss thing. For me, I don't use stop loss, but I have a video for you. And it is very, very amazing. Why? Because finally, I am using stop loss. So I didn't use stop loss, but I use ATR. Uh, we call it average true range to target stop loss. So if you have a low here, this is your low you will place the ATR and it will tell you how many pips. So maybe this one could have told me from that area, let's say put like 20 pips below or 30 pips. So the ATR is the one that governs you. So if you had put stop loss around this area, you've been stopped out. But the question is, the question is, did the market go as, as it is said? Did it go? Did it hit the take profit? Yes, it did. So what I want to tell you is that finally, I want to introduce stop loss. It will be a module on my course that is called risk management. That is the, it's a, like a bonus module is to tell everyone who buy my course, thank you for trusting my course. And this is a bonus course that I want to give you. And it will be called, it will be module 13. I didn't have module 13 because my course reaches to module 12. So module from module 13, 14, 15, if I will ever create, there'll be bonuses lesson. So the bonus lesson on module 13, it will be risk management. So on the risk management, lesson one will be take profit. Lesson two will be stop loss. Lesson three will be sizing of lot size. How do you size and, and so on and so on. So I'm still working on it. So yeah, I will share that with my students. So when people ask about stop loss and an ATR, Never think I will come here and create a video on ATR. It will only be for my paid students. So uh, we have reached our destination. The question is, do we have um, like a pattern on four hour, like a double top? No. I go to two hours. Do I have a double top? So let's see on two hours. Do I have a double top? No. Let's go on one hour. We are looking for pattern three. Do I have a double top? No. We go to 30 minutes. Do I have a double top? So this is 30 minutes. No. So there is nothing like a double top uh, at this moment. I, I don't have a pattern yet. But let me show you what I have. Once the market comes to this area, I'm just waiting for what will happen so that I can enter. So pattern three is very easy, guys. As long as they don't break this half, pattern three will be our cap and handle because the same double bottom can create a cap and handle. So this should be our pattern three. 
ici, pattern three. This should be our pattern three. Pattern three is the most powerful pattern. And we'll start seeing pattern three by some things that will happen. So by the time the market, um, if the market breaks, the sellers comes continuously without giving any other indication, our pattern three is here. But we can still have pattern three around this area. So let's see what happens once we have, um, we, we are waiting for the market to give us an entry. We are now waiting for the market to give us, to give us an entry and support the sale. Why? Because on the weekly time frame, it is a sale. It's just that pattern two came to interfere. And already we know pattern two, they don't go further. So market comes like that. So we wait for, for like a resistance or support to be created. So we have a support, guys. And if you can notice, what type of uh, ranging is this? It's called a one candle ranging. So the first candle, the second candle, the third candle, the fourth candle, the fifth candle. This one is telling us wherever the market will break, if it breaks upside, we're in trouble. So we wait to see what happens. So the market still ranges and the first break is like that. This is just an indication to tell us sellers are willing to come down. So if you enter this sale, trust me, you don't have you cannot trade as a cup and handle. You will trade it back to that area. That's where you will trade it. So I have told you, always use ATR as your stop stop loss um entry. So let's see what happened after you enter. And we mind you, we are not entering P3. This is not P3. P3, I've told you what P3 is all about. So the market, it was easy. Why was it easy? I told you, if you have a one candle ranging and it breaks it's a quick money so we will wait the market has almost hitting our take profit in fact because it has started to range you would have closed that trade so we are waiting for the market to break overall they break this area to get our our last push so that's where we want this market to do what to to break so as you are waiting notice the reason why we want the ranging to break the, the the inverted to break because when you have a p3 p3 i've told you is this inverted it is more stronger than any other simple uh simple we call it simple pattern you know an inverted cup and handle is very very strong pattern because it has to finish most of the inverted finishes so this is where we were looking for inverted to give us um it's called what to give us an entry so and because we have an entry it is going that direction pattern three it is speaking the same language with pattern one imagine that's what we have so how many pips were those after getting everything that's 224 let's see how the market behaved did this market drop so I will play it quickly. We see what happened. Did it drop? Did it hit our take profit? Yes, it did, guys. After that, did it complete our cup and handle? Let's see if it completed our cup and handle. Did it complete our cup and handle? Pattern three will always talk volume. So what has happened is that we already know that pattern two, pattern one was a double top. They drop pattern one and pattern three. Yes, it will sell, but you can't be glued on the double top. We'll be glued on this cup and handle. I have told you, a successful trade is a trade that you are trading on pattern three. If you are starting to trade in your pattern one, this drawdown would have got you out. It got many people out. Uh, stopped many people out because if you are selling here because of a double top on the weekly, you would have been taken drawdown of 271 pips. If now you start to buy again around this area, uh, the drawdown was too much. So who would, who lost? Pattern two traders lost because yes, they bought short term, but the long term trade was according to, to weekly. Guys, I want you to save this video and every time 
you want to remind yourself on how to trade effectively, you come and pull out lesson 50, lesson 55. Why? Because this lesson will be, it's a very, very, this is information that I should be selling, but I want to give you for free because you can make something out of yourself. The minute you open the chart and there's a possibility of one time frame, ask yourself, which pattern am I on? Don't trade one pattern, pattern one. And then pattern one is the riskiest because it is delays. Pattern two, you can get money, but be careful from pattern three, pattern four, those ones, they are patterns to hold. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope uh, this lesson was very, very important. I hope it will get to the right audience. People will, will learn from it. And yeah, all the best and love you.